<laughs> so St. Edward High School beat Springfield last weekend <laughs> to win the Division I state title. The championship is the second in a row and sixth in school history, yeah, which is, does that get old, guys? State champs? No, no. Okay. 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 no Just wondering. All right, we're joined with uh, some of the seniors are here this morning. Yes, the seniors, the seniors as well as the coach, Tom Lombardi. So, first of all, welcome. Congratulations to all of you. And Tom, man, two in a row. How, how are you feeling about that right now, man? Well, it feels pretty good. Yeah. You know, it feels pretty good. And it's best with a, a, a great group of guys like we have behind us. Uh, you know, senior-laden team that uh, showed a lot of leadership. And uh, kids put a lot into it, you know. And um, not just becoming state champs, but when you sign up to play high school football in, in the great north, state of Ohio, northeast Ohio, yeah. It's a really competitive, and uh, you know, kids really push themselves to get better and, and to be the best version of themselves. I think a lot of coaches. I mean, you have quite the history, so I think a lot of coaches and teams may wonder what's the secret you have. You know, there there is no really secret ingredient. I think, you know, to get to that level, a lot of teams have to work hard. You have to you have to be in the weight room. We have a lot of guys here that play multiple sports. Okay. Um, and then it's just you know. It's just being together and, and focusing on a goal that, that, that you want and taking it one, one step at a time, one week at a time. That was our motto all year. Yeah. We played the toughest schedule in the state of Ohio. The There's toughest no in Ohio. Wow. Maybe one of the toughest in the country. That's so, incredible. Yeah, we have five teams on our schedule. Uh, we're in a final four or better, and uh, two were state champs on our, on our in regular season schedule. So, you beat Springfield last year yeah. and this year. Correct. So what do they got? I mean, they made it, obviously, to the championship. Great program. Yeah. Great, great talent. Uh, you know, three Division One wide receivers, a quarterback wow. that was excellent. Yeah. Um, so, they, you know, they, they have some players. Clearly didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, talk about this team. What makes this team so great? You know, I think the guys just put, the, put their uh, task at hand. You know, it was just... Uh, Bring your lunch pail each day. Uh, they challenge themselves with that great schedule to, st to stay in the moment mm -hmm. and to get better. We we actually started a lot of new players uh, this year from last year's state championship team. Uh, so it took us a little while maybe to, to reach our potential, but mm -hmm. we started playing our best football in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think by the end of the year, we're certainly the number one team in the state. At St. Ed, you guys kind of have the pick of the litter of, of the area. What type of young men do you look for to take part in your program? You know, you know, students first. I mean, good kids that want to be part of a good program. It, it, when you come to St. Ed's, there's a lot of competition. So, you know, some have to wait their turn mm -hmm. uh, in terms of sometimes just to their senior year. And that's tough for some guys. But uh, if you buy in, I think this is the, this this is is the fruit. result. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you are set for next year because your quarterback's a junior. Quarterback's a junior. So. We got three offensive linemen that are junior. Yeah. A couple tight ends, a couple yeah. receivers back. Could you do me a favor? You've got a lot of guys here. Could just These are just seniors, by the way. Introduce some of your players, if you would, if it's from, from your, your, your left or all the way yep. around. Cy Colvin, senior DB. Marvin Bell, our running back. Dylan Lewis, a, a tight end. Coach Conroy's with us. We got Ricky Wolverton, captain center. Johnny Hutton at corner. Michael Kilbane, DN, going to Northwestern. Ben Lavelle. Is our kicker and punter, Grady Lenz Pfeiffer, wide receiver, Mo Hussein, a D lineman, Anderson Soltis, our guard, Owen Put Sable. Put your hand up so we know at home. Okay. Well, we got Carter Potts, a uh, wide receiver. Did I miss anyone? And, and uh, my son Tommy uh, yep, helps you got us your coach. Son Absolutely. Oh, yeah. that's he's he's, he's hiding. He okay. does the film. That's excellent, wonderful. excellent, excellent. All right now. So you're, so you're going to Northwestern, huh? Yeah. So what are you going to take with you from St. Ed's? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. excited. You know, the lessons we learned, uh, the culture that yeah. Coach Lombardo instilled in all of us, it's really special. And I hope to take a lot of that stuff that I learned with me at the next level and uh, represent St. Ed's well. Wow, that's excellent. Now, you're the wide receiver, starting wide receiver. Correct. All right, uh, talk about your season, man. How, how, what kind of season did you have? Give me some stats. I know you're keeping right. track. Come on, yeah, you're a wide receiver. You know, I, I, I did a little better in the playoffs. I finished with five touchdowns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All, uh, all these receivers, all the, they all want the ball every time. I mean, come on, spread it around. We got the best time. blocking receiver. Oh, you're the best right. blocking yeah. receiver. That's, right. that's what I'm proud of. That's excellent. <laughs> that's excellent. That's excellent. Now, what about you now? Now, you're, you're a defensive back, right down there? Do you start? I got you. Do you start? Uh, yeah. I yeah. Start. All yeah. right. Now, is he, is he as good as he says he is? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably our best catcher on our team. Wow. That's honest. good stuff, man. That's good stuff. So, what do you have to say for your seniors? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, hey, you can brag on them. Oh, well, this team's, the, the this team's team. amazing. I mean, we've gone back to back. Like, not, not to toot our own horn, but... Yeah. No, you can toot toot, baby, toot toot. <laughs> I mean, it's just a well group of guys. Like, we all come together as, like, one big family, and you can see it on the field. Like, every 
like uh, back in like May when we were getting started and everything, coach installed like these things called PTs, it's like personal touches, personal touches. And he had tallied up one day and it was around like 100 something. And that's yeah. just the culture of all the guys. That yeah. Are yeah. Now, now awesome. where's the running? Who's the running back? Right. Are you do you are you starting running back? Yes. Are you a bad 2, man? Two thousand yards. Two thousand yards. Tell, tell me your name again. Marvin Bell. You got a, you got a scholarship lined up? Uh, I got a few. I oh, got a few. there you go. Oh, okay, you haven't made your decision Bell. yet, huh? Yeah. Gotta, are we allowed to drop names? Soon. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Whoa. <laughs> so 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 this year, two thousand yards. Almost. Yes. Man, when you look back on your years at Saint Ed, what do you think you're going to remember most? I'm going to remember those grind days, uh, playing JV and freshman. Having fun with my boys in the backyard. Let me see your thighs, man. From running backs, they have big thighs. Oh, okay, yeah, can we big. zoom in on the that thighs? You gotta zoom in on the thighs. Right. You gotta have those running back Get thighs. Get nice, man. Mandy. <laughs> Mandy's all over. That's good stuff. Coach, when you compare this team to, to last year, yeah. what are the differences? Or are there any differences? You got a lot of the same guys. You know, the uh, last year's team lost when they were juniors in a heartbreaking playoff game in the COVID year. And, and that last year's team came dedicated that they were going to prove uh, that, they were, that they wanted it you know, together. And it wasn't, uh, we didn't have a lot of D1 guys. In fact, I don't think we had any uh, in the senior class. We had a linebacker that went to, to Harvard and a couple guys then played in college, D2, D3. Uh, this particular team, we had a couple more uh, heralded seniors in terms of recruits with a real good junior class behind recruit-wise, mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it was new, brand new. Uh, I would say the this, this, this senior class coming in as freshmen weren't the most heralded class. Uh, they lost it in some games in the freshman and JV level, but yeah. uh, I think you know, the expectations were really high this year, which was the difference. You know, we yeah. were preseason number one and all that, and, and to, to take everyone's best shot shows uh, exactly what these guys are made now, of. Now, you know folks are talking about three-peat. You know that. <laughs> They're already talking about it. You know that, don't you? So the pressure's on. <laughs> He's like, He's I, like I got hey, what, to say about what that. What can't Riley say with the Lakers? Let's do it. Why not? Let's I can't remember. Why not? You know what I mean? Coach, let me ask you this because we talked to Glenville about this. Football is just a game. And so I know that their lives and what you've instilled in them is super important too. So what is that like with your team and as they move forward and continue with life in college? I, I say all the time, football is just a conduit to teach the kids to be, you know, what, what they're mm -hmm. doing. And what St. Ed's is trying to do is, or any high school trying to do, and teach them to be better, the best versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. We go to mass before every game. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I really feel that that's important. Yeah. And, you know, when you start and have, um, you know, important things in your life that are important, which football is right now to, to these guys at this age, but uh, one day they're going to start their job, right. graduate from have college, be fathers, mm -hmm. have a family. And if they could fall back on some of the, these attributes are talking about brotherhood, teamwork, uh, you know, to, to being close to God. Mm -hmm. You know, I think those are those are the values that really can maybe if we if there's a little of that that helps that along the way. Football is a great game. They'll never forget you, and they'll never forget this experience. Yeah. This experience at Fox 8. Oh, no, 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 I'm just Thank kidding. You. Your state title. <laughs> you guys, you guys are awesome. Man. Thank oh, you for we, coming. Did we show the trophy? Oh, let, my. Let's look at the trophy. Can we get a shot of the trophy before we go to We got the thighs. This now we the need the trophy. trophy. D1, the big school. <laughs> the big school. <laughs> there it is right there. There it is. Pan hey. up on that bad boy. Let me see. Check this thing out. This is nice, boy. This is very nice. It's That's going to great. be added to your trophy case, but you got to find a place for it. You got so many trophies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. All right, thank you guys. Congratulations thank to all of you. Thank the you. Eagles. The Eagles. Great job. You guys are wonderful. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. We'll be right. right back. Stay with us. Oh, this was fun. I don't want to go. I know, I know. <laughs> we'll be right back.